Hello you guys, today I am so freaking excited because I have four face sunscreens to share with you guys that I actually love that are under $20 or right at the $20 mark, which is absolutely insane because I thought I was never gonna find a sunscreen that I liked better than Elta MD. And I also found one from Amazon last year, but they no longer sell that and I just, I've been on the hunt for the best sunscreen on the market. These are all mineral sunscreens and they all have zinc oxide in them. I wear them every single day on my face, no matter if it's sunny or cloudy outside because I want to protect my skin and um, prevent it from aging and all of the things that sun can damage your skin. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm so freaking excited for this. They're all mineral sunscreens. Two of them are tinted and two of them are not. Um, the two that are not do have a slight, slight white cast to them. So if I'm like at the lake or something, I don't use those ones. I have a specific one that I use, but under makeup and stuff, they work amazingly. This is a range of like something that's more matte to also very glowy. So I feel like there's going to be a sunscreen in there for you if you have one of those preferences. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with the ones that are not tinted. So these are both newer to me. I mean, all of these kind of are newer, but I've used them all for like a few weeks. Um, the one that I was so excited about that came out was the native sunscreen with zinc oxide SPF 30. This is only $16 and they have free shipping on their site, or at least they did when I purchased this, which was amazing. So I literally only got it by itself. Um, everything that I'm sharing, by the way, I will show a demonstration of how it looks on the skin and me applying it. I love that it comes with a pump bottle like this. It's a squeezy. It has zinc oxide 20% and, um, all of these sunscreens say that they're not like water resistant. Um, it says to use a water resistant sunscreen if you're in the water, but there is one that I will share with you guys that is like very water resistant. Um, this one isn't as much, I would say. Um, so this is something that I would wear day to day under sun or under makeup and stuff. Um, or if you're not going to be like sweating and going in the pool a ton, but I love this one. It's a little bit more in like the middle of like super glowy and matte. I would say it's like right, right there in the middle. I have it underneath my uh, makeup right now and I love the look of it. Um, it doesn't like interfere with my makeup at all and it just looks beautiful on the skin. So native did an amazing job. I get the unscented one, so it doesn't like mess with my face at all. This is a very, this is the newest one to me and I love it. You guys, for someone who is oily, this is going to be your best friend. This is the Panoxyl AM oil control moisturizer, SPF 30 mineral sunscreen, obviously. And this has titanium titanium dioxide 1% and zinc oxide 7.8%. Um, this is a thicker formula. So because it is more like matte on the skin, it dries down quickly. So you want to make sure you're rubbing it in pretty quickly and just keep rubbing. Even if your skin feels like it is a little bit tacky, um, or like it's tough because the more you run rub in these like mineral sunscreens that don't have tint in them, the less white cast you're going to get. So definitely keep rubbing, get all that whiteness out. And I promise you, it's not going to be like too, too bad of a white cast. You're definitely going to have one though. So like I said, best to put on like a BB cream out over top of this or full on makeup or whatever you want to do. Um, but this one literally will be amazing for those of you who get oily throughout the day when you do have makeup on. It's a game changer. I like wearing this one now with the summer knit, summer heat and everything, but because it doesn't like dry me out. Will I wear this in the winter? Probably not, but it's not like something that's gonna suck the life out of you like a super matte foundation or something. It just kind of controls those oils and my makeup goes on great over top of this one as well. So if you are an oily girl, this one's for you. After that, we have the two tinted ones. So this one I'm almost out of, so I just bought a new two. This is gonna be the one that you want to wear if you're going swimming. This is from Bliss. Um, oh, I forgot to say this pan, Panoxyl one is, I believe 15.99 or 16.99 on Amazon. They did have a little sale right now though. So obviously I don't know if it's going on still, but when I was checking the price, it was a few dollars off. Um, the Bliss one though, these are all SPF 30, just so you know. This one is the coolest one out of all of them, I think. This one also has titanium dioxide 4.1% and zinc oxide 11.5%. 
And this one literally goes on velvety, soft. It's like blurring on the skin. It's slightly tinted, but it's not gonna be like a lot of tint at all. And it doesn't budge, you guys. This thing is freaking amazing for sweating, for the pool, for everything. I would say make sure you're using like some sort of oily kind of um, makeup remover or you double cleanse your face because this won't come off very easily with regular, just like one face wash. Um, you need to make sure you're getting your sunscreen off. So um, like before you do your nighttime skincare or else it's not gonna obviously seep into your skin. Um, so anyway, this one even says it's not water resistant, but I can't believe that. Like it, you will see once you like try and wash your hands afterwards, the water just kind of like pills off of your hands um, when you have this on it. So this is probably my number one favorite. The only con is, you know, getting it off at the end of the day. That's why I don't wear this one religiously all the time. And it is more expensive. This one is exactly $20. The other ones are like $16. So it's to each his own. This one is probably more of a matte-ish finish, but I would say it's not like drying at all. It just looks like satiny on the face and it looks beautiful. I love this one. Okay, last but not least, this is the first one that I found when I was looking for mineral sunscreens. This is the Babo Bo Botanicals Daily Sheer Tinted Sunscreen SPF 30. This one has, doesn't say like the percentage of what it has, but it definitely has zinc oxide in it. Um, I'm sure you could see it on the Amazon site. So this is the wateriest of all of them. And this is, it says it's in the shade Natural Glow, like at the bottom here, but I didn't see other shades on Amazon. They might have other shades on their site or something. I don't really know. But this, when you first take it out, it definitely is a lighter color, but once you kind of rub it into your face, um, it blends right in. I will say this one is something that you have to keep rubbing because it is so liquidy. Um, it's not gonna stay on if you're sweating a lot and you're in the pool, just so you know, it's not gonna stay on, but it is beautiful. Like I'm gonna wear it tomorrow when we um, drive back to Michigan in the car because it does give me like a very even looking skin tone. It's not like it's going to be like me right now with a BB cream on and other makeup, but it is going to even out your skin tone, make it all look kind of, you know, just like one color and like you're still gonna see imperfections in um, on your skin. So this one I just love if I'm like running errands or something, it's beautiful. So I don't have to put a full face of makeup on. I put this on, brows and mascara, and I run out the door. So to each his own, right? This one again is right around $16. And um, I literally cannot believe I found four sunscreens that I absolutely love from like Amazon or the drugstore. Like I really thought that they just weren't gonna come out with good ones. All the ones that I tried for, and the reason I don't use chemical sunscreen, by the way, on my face is because I have super duper 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 sensitive eyes. And so if sunscreen, if I use a regular chemical sunscreen, my eyes burn so bad. Not even just my eyes, the rest of my face burns. And I have spent way too many years, especially when I was younger, like sitting at the pool with like a wet towel around my eyes because they're red and I could never put sunscreen on my face. Like around here, I would always have like red sunburn here because I couldn't put sunscreen on that area because it just hurt so bad. So I'm so happy that I found sunscreens that I absolutely love. I can wear them every day. I can protect my skin. And so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I upload new videos every single week on beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. Make sure if you are interested in these to click the link in my description box to the blog post where everything will be linked that I talked about today. Um, so you can shop it if you're curious. So I hope you guys like this and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.